Elgato is sponsoring me to teach you how to adjust how much of your microphone, the Elgato Wave 1 microphone, you hear in your monitor mix, how much you hear yourself essentially, versus everything else you're listening to in your broadcast, your game audio, Discord, whatever it is. I'm gonna teach you how to adjust that mix because it is different on the Elgato Wave 1 microphone versus the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. And so let me clarify that and teach you how to do that mix so you're nice and comfy with how you're listening to your audio. So first things first, the Elgato Wave 1 microphone that you're listening to right now does not have the ability on the microphone physically for you to adjust the mix between what you hear in your headphones in your monitor mix versus how what you hear in the microphone mix itself. So you have to do all of the mixing in terms of how much mic you hear versus how much of the other audio you hear in the software side, in the Wavelink software. So let's go over that right now. Uh, it's digital only with the Elgato uh, Wave 1 microphone. No physical controls to change the mix. Cool? Just want to make sure that's clear. And that's one of the reasons why the Elgato Wave 1 mic is less expensive than the Elgato Wave 3. It's a feature that is not on board this microphone. Cool. So here's how you change that mix uh, and you adjust it. Obviously, you need to have the Elgato Wavelink software installed and set up. If you haven't already done that, watch my previous tutorial videos. It'll catch you up to this phase where everything's up and running and now you're ready to adjust your mixes. OK, so the way that you're going to adjust the mix between PC or essentially all the audio you're listening to, game audio, blah, 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 in your mic, is you're going to do the drop down menu here under your microphone. Then you're going to go down and you're going to see this mic versus PC mix. Here's how this works. You're essentially going to choose what the output volume is uh, for your headphones and your monitor mix uh, by dropping down the output volume here or increasing the output volume here. You can decide uh, what you think the volume level should be there. Now, notice the dial function above allows you to select whether the physical dial on the microphone controls that or not. So as you can see, I'm physically controlling uh, that volume. If I drop down uh, the dial function and I choose output volume, so you can select the output volume uh, here, but you can't select the mix. What do I mean by the mix? So if you look at your mic versus PC mix, if I slide the slider all the way to the left, all you're going to hear is your microphone right here. So you're only going to hear your mic. You're not going to hear any other audio on your computer, just monitoring yourself. If you move it to the other side, you aren't going to hear any uh, of your microphone in the mix. You will only hear the sounds that you're mixing, your music, your game audio, whatever on your computer. And if you put it somewhere in the middle, then you can have a mix 50-50, let's say, uh, or any percentage you want of how much of yourself you want to hear versus how much of the other stuff, maybe other people you want to hear in the mix. So definitely test this before you go into a stream. Definitely test this before you go into a recording to make sure it's super comfortable for you. Most people I know like to hear themselves a little bit quieter versus the other people they're talking to or the game audio. And so for most people, kind of the best setting is going to be right here, uh, somewhere kind of like 60 to 70 percent toward the um, PC mix versus the microphone mix, because you probably won't want to hear yourself set super loud. So mic 40 percent, PC 60 percent is a good starting place for most of my digital consulting clients that I've worked with. Got it? That's how you adjust the mix there between those two things that you hear in your headphones. It's really important. You can't do it on the mic. That little physical button on the mic doesn't do the job. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to pick up the Wave 1 or its official accessories, I've got links below to do that. Thank you so much for watching. Adios.